Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I am reading Microsoft Surface Agreement and let me just go back for a second to know uh, to let you guys know where did I came from. I've reached standard application license terms. Excuse me. And in, at the installation and use right expiration, there's this usage rule right here. In the previous video, I've reached uh, this part right here. Uh, additional surface specific rules and descriptions and I'm going to continue on so before I'm reading I gotta give you a disclaimer guys that I'm not uh, that I'm not giving you a professional advice so in terms of your life you gotta consult with your professional surface provider whatever that is professional advisor whatever that is regarding information in this video you may find some of this information uh, damaging right and you I am prone to mistakes and you might catch on with my mistakes so you know the way you take this video I hope is that uh, like a casual conversation regarding things that are happening in life like for example if you watch something on the news and you talk about it with your friend or your family uh, casually or something like that you're not giving any kind of uh, professional assurance or you're not giving any any kind of uh, payments if there's something wrong that is happening because of your assurance or because of your advice so the same thing like that guys I'm just trying to get a better look at the world through this lens and further my knowledge and further my wisdom and understanding um, and even this this disclaimer probably is a bad disclaimer I actually recommend you to go and watch like some lawyer channels in 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 YouTube uh, low by make also low by Mike I know make some disclaimer disclaimer display uh, like the, he's telling about disclaimer in his channel in he in his shorts uh, but I am not saying again I'm not guaranteeing that everything he said is right because I don't know I'm not even a lawyer what I know though he's he's a lawyer from what I know uh, I could also be wrong about that I <laughs> and also um, uh, another law channel Nate the lawyer uh, I there's so <laughs> some of them escapes my mind I'm sorry so I'm just going to continue continue it here uh, last the last time we left is here users may uh, Xbox games and services Xbox one and Xbox series digital games users may access or install Xbox one and Xbox service series digital games on any reasonable number of Xbox one or Xbox series consoles including a home console or roaming consoles the user is signed into um, games can only be played on one console at a time however when playing on a roaming console play on the home console is available if a different user is locked into the home console mm, i don't like i'm still going to the I'm going to accept this risk because I don't have Xbox but I don't really know what's being talked about here um, I have like I have blurry assumptions but I couldn't make it up I couldn't make up what what situation is being talked about here uh, for the sharing license I'm just going to read it each game you download from the store uh, has a device based license and a user based license you can designate one console in excluding a cloud based ver ver variant used for game streaming as your home console let me repeat that without reading the bracket each game you download from the store has a device based license and a user based license you can designate one console as your home console and the device license automatically attaches to it even if you are purchasing from a different console okay like for example um, you have you have your own Xbox and then you went to your friend's house and you purchase a game for your own account 
uh, that is possible and it would be associated with your console the one that you bought not your friend's console but i could be wrong about that guys this is not a professional assurance and then the user license is associated with your microsoft account a console that can be the home console for several people a console can be the home console for several people you can change your home console up to five times during a year period well what happened there you you move <laughs> you're a nomad or something when you do so all your device licenses will automatically move to and operate only on the new home console anyone can use your game or other content license to that device on your home console under your device license so wait a minute is this a def a license for anybody anybody to use the game to play the game using my account wait a minute you may use all games to which you have a user license by logging in with your microsoft account so long as you are not concurrently playing on another console yeah two account active at the same time is no is a no no the these rules are referred to as the home console usage rules some game add-ons and other downloadable content available may be limited to your personal use okay let me read the part that anyone can use your game <clears throat> excuse me there's there's mucus in my throat here it, it's been going on for a while now i don't know how to get rid of it uh, for a for a long time i mean persistently it's just going to always be there so sorry about my voice because i don't usually be able to control such thing uh <clears throat> home console anyone can use your game on your home console under your device license right so uh, obviously like people would play in your account is something that is allowable that is what i assume from this license uh, terms right here but i could be wrong again next for clarity the one year period is measured on a rolling basis so this is the one year period for you being able to be a nomad to move around your home account into different different devices and starting the moment you assign or change your home console for the first time if you wait a minute a wrong tone let me read that again for clarity the one year period is measured on a rolling basis starting the moment you assign or change your home console for the first time if you reach your home console change limit for the year you will receive a message letting you know that the next available date you can change your home console again okay we will if we ran out of uh chances for the, those five times like somehow we are moving our account to different xboxes every five uh, five times within a year then if we wanted to move that again we wouldn't be able to but we could see when's the next time we could do so again in what circumstances do people would would actually do that like um for example like an, a very busy person wow well, like someone who has a lot of houses in a lot of different places more than five houses and they wanted to play xbox individually there rather than taking their xbox in a suitcase and carrying it around in an airplane uh, he could just buy new xboxes for every house you know and he could move whenever he flew to this country and then to that country to that place to that city in that city probably 10 10 places in one year at a time uh, he he would he would be he would be subject like he would be the targeted subject of these terms probably okay next xbox 360 games one xbox 30 console one xbox 360 console so this is the limitation of the amount of user here this is the license you and anyone else with access can use a game or other content on the first xbox 360 console you downloaded it to 
you may transfer that game or other content to another Xbox 360 console using a memory unit or other storage. But you may play it on that console only while that console is logged into your Microsoft account. So you cannot pay, play it without being logged on to the Microsoft account. So next, Xbox Play Anywhere games. Users may access or install Xbox Play Anywhere games on any res reasonable number of compatible Windows devices. And Xbox One or Xbox Series consoles additionally Wait, wait. Users may access or install Xbox Play Anywhere games or any reasonable number of compatible Windows devices and Xbox One on Xbox Series consoles. Additionally, each game can only be played on one device or console at a time, similar to what we've read before, what I've read before, sorry, regardless of the number of devices where the game is installed. You may be logged in to the game from only one device at a time. When you play an Xbox Play Anywhere game, your game progress is saved on with your gamer tag, so you can pick up where you left on when you log into another device. Oh, sorry guys, it just let me repeat that again real quick. Regardless of the number of devices where the game is installed, you may be logged in to the game from only one device at a time. When you play an Xbox Play Anywhere game, your the game progress is saved on with your gamer tag so you can pick up where you left on when you log into another device. The Xbox One or Xbox Series digital games rules above also apply to Xbox Play Anywhere games. Now it's not about the number of devices but it is about the number of accounts and paying for that account obviously. The Xbox Play Anywhere program applies only to certain participating digital games. But what I mean by paying obviously uh, for the paid games. If the game is free then it, like, it's also about the account but um, since it's a free games, it is not uh, it is not based on uh, the amount you paid. So even so, if it's a free free game, obviously it's free. The Xbox Play Anywhere program applies only to certain participating digital games. What is participating? Why is this word used here? This is a little bit weird. Participating digital games, including those bearing the Xbox Play Anywhere or in a store. There's a link there. Xbox Play Anywhere games can be purchased in a store or via a digital code at participating retailers. Before downloading an Xbox Play Anywhere game on your PC, Check the game publisher's minimum system requirements to make sure your PC is compatible. So the last part I understand, but the first part, only to certain participating digital games, including those bearing the Xbox Play, anywhere icon or in a store. Icon on www.xbox.com or in a store, there's a link there. Xbox Play Anywhere games can be purchased in store or via a digital code at participating retailers. Before downloading on Xbox Play Anywhere game on your PC, check the game's publisher's minimum system requirements to make sure your PC is compatible. Next, Xbox Live Gold. Users may be signed into Xbox Live Gold on any reasonable number of Xbox One or Xbox Series consoles. However, game or Surface access is restricted as set out in the Xbox One or Xbox Series digital games rules, Xbox Play Anywhere rules, Xbox Game Pass for console rules, and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate rules as applicable. Your Xbox Live Gold subscription is associated with your Xbox account, 
Games with Gold is associated with your Xbox account, you must have an Xbox Live Gold or Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription to be eligible for Games with Gold. And then for additional licenses, see terms and conditions at, there's a link there. So all of these are Xbox, I don't want to read this because it's just gonna get me more confused. Xbox Game Pass for console. Users may access Xbox Game Pass for console on any reasonable number of Xbox One or Xbox Series consoles. Games can only be played on one console at a time. However, when playing on a roaming console, play on the home console is available at a different user is, if a different user is locked into the home console. Xbox Game Pass for console subscription is associated with your Xbox account. Wait a minute. However, when playing on a roaming console, what is a roaming console? I think I have no clear understanding of what this roaming console means. See terms and conditions at, there's a link there. PC Game Pass. Users may access Xbox Game Pass or PC for PC on any reasonable number of compatible Windows devices. However, each game can only be played on one device at a time. Xbox Game Pass for PC subscription is associated with your Microsoft account. See terms and conditions and there's a link there. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Users may access Xbox Game Pass Ultimate on any reasonable number of compatible Windows devices and Xbox One or Xbox Series consoles. Games can only be played at one on one console at a time. Concurrent usage of other games on PC is permitted. However, each game can only be accessed on one device or console at a time. Please also see Xbox One or Xbox Series Digital Games Rules, Xbox Play Anywhere Rules, Xbox Game Pass for Console Rules, and PC Game Pass Rules as applicable. And then this is the licensing here. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription is associated with your Xbox account. See terms and conditions at, there's a link there. Microsoft. So how long would they, would this be still? Oh, it's almost done. Uh, let us read applications first because we are talking about Windows here. Uh, Microsoft apps 10 compatible Windows devices. So for regular applications, it it could it could be spread into 10 compatible Windows de devices. Despite the general rules above. Apps provided free of charge can be downloaded to devices that are not registered with your Microsoft account. Okay, nice to know. So this previous paragraph here, previous paragraphs, is about, is about uh, or have similarities where they uh, cannot be downloaded to a device that are not registered with your Microsoft account. Okay, but in case in the case of uh, applications, applic Microsoft applications here, such thing won't apply. Yeah, you can get probably an APK maybe okay mine minecraft minecraft up to two players per server up to 10 players per server for minecraft minecraft realms plus and this is the application here okay guys i'm i'm going to read this one and after that i'm going to end the video and continue on on, on different videos that at least is my plan minecraft minecraft realms up to two players per server Realms is a subscription for a personal multiplayer server to be used with supported versions of Minecraft on supported platforms on which you own the game or Minecraft Java Edition and Xbox 360 not supported. Okay, games sold separately. Which one is it? Realms is a subscription for a personal multiplayer server to be used with supported version of Minecraft games sold separately. 
Minecraft Realms and Minecraft are two different things. Okay. Okay, excuse me guys, I, I was away before and now I am back, so the setting may be skipped. Uh, let me try to repeat some stuff again, or try to read stuff again. Um, Xbox Live Gold, users may be signed into Xbox Live Gold on any reasonable number of Xbox One or Xbox Series consoles. However, game or surface access is restricted as set out in the Xbox One or Xbox Series digital games rules, Xbox Play Anywhere rules, Xbox Game Pass for console rules, and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate rules as applicable. Your Xbox Live Gold subscription is associated with your Xbox account games with Gold is associated with your Xbox account. You must have an Xbox Live Gold or Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription to be eligible with games with Gold. And additional terms, additional rules, see terms and condition at, there's a link there. Okay, Xbox Game Pass for console. Users may access Xbox Game Pass for console on any reasonable number of Xbox One or Xbox Series consoles. Game can only be played on one console at a time. However, when playing on a roaming console, play on the home console is available if a different user is logged on to the home console. Xbox Game Pass for console subscription is associated with your Xbox account. And then additional rules, see terms and condition at there's a link there. PC Game Pass. Users may access Xbox Game Pass for PC on any reasonable number of compatible Windows devices. However, each game can only be played on one device at a time. Xbox Game Pass for PC subscription is associated with your Microsoft account. See terms condition at, terms and conditions at there's a link there. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Users may access Xbox Game Pass Ultimate on any reasonable number of compatible Windows devices and Xbox One or Xbox Series consoles. Games can only be played on one console at a time. Concurrent usage of other games on PC is permitted. However, each game can only be accessed on one device or console at a time. Please also see Xbox One or Xbox Series Digital Games rules, Xbox Play Anywhere rules, or X rules, Xbox Game Pass for console rules, and PC Game Pass rules as applicable. Let me repeat that again for me, uh, just a little bit. Please also see Xbox One or Xbox Series Digital Games rules, Xbox Play Anywhere rules, Xbox Game Pass for console rules, and PC Game Pass rules as applicable. So the one that we just read before, guys. And Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription is associated with your Xbox account. See terms and condition at... There's a link there. Minecraft. Minecraft, Minecraft Realms. Up to two players per server. Realms is a subscription for a personal multiplayer server to be used with supported version of Minecraft. Games sold separately. On supported platforms on which you own the game, Minecraft Java Edition and Xbox 360 not supported, Xbox Live Gold subscription is required to play on Xbox, sold separately. For recurring subscription after any promotional period, subscription continues to be charged at the then current regular price subject to change plus applicable taxes unless cancelled for recurring subscription after any promotional period subscription continues to be charged at the then current regular price plus applicable taxes unless cancelled Cancel in Microsoft account if you play Minecraft through Game Pass. Realms is a separate subscription. 
What is this? Let me repeat that again. Cancel in Microsoft account. <clears throat> Cancel in Microsoft account. If you play Minecraft through Game Pass, Realms is a separate subscription. You will need to purchase and cancel each subscription separately if your subscription is inactive for more than 18 months. Your Realms data will be deleted from the server. You will need to purchase and cancel each subscription separately if you play Minecraft through Game Pass. If your subscription is inactive for more than 18 months, your Realms data will be deleted from the server. ISP fees may apply. Realms discount cannot be combined with other offers and are not redeemable for cash. Requirements, features, online services, or subscription subject to change. Online services or subscriptions subject to change and or retirement. Subject to the Microsoft Service Agreement, and there's a link there, and Realms and User License Agreement, and there's a link there. Realms Java Edition is a separate subscription, sold separately and requires Minecraft Java Edition game. Minecraft Realms Plus, up to 10 players per server, is for the limitation of for number of users, and lies and and copying, and wait a minute. Yes, next, uh, Realms Plus is a subscription for content and Realms Personal Server to be used with supported versions of Minecraft. Games sold separately on supported platforms on which you own the game, Minecraft Java Edition and Xbox 360 not supported. An active subscription is required to use Realms Plus content. Content varies over time and may not be available in all countries. Xbox Live Gold subscription is required to play on Xbox sold separately. For recurring subscriptions, okay, sold separately. For recurring subscriptions, after any promotional period, subscription continues to be charged at the then current regular price. This is this is after promotional period, guys. This is after promotional period. Plus applicable taxes unless cancelled. Cancel in your Microsoft account. So oh I see. So if you want to cancel it, go to the Microsoft account. If you play Minecraft through Game Pass, Realms Plus is a separate subscription. You will need to purchase and cancel each subscription separately. If your subscription terminates or a content item is removed from the catalog, you must reactivate your subscription or buy the content separately to continue using it. If your subscription terminates or a content item is removed from the catalog, you must reactivate your subscription or buy the content separately to continue using it. If your subscription terminates or a content item is removed from the catalog, you must reactivate your subscription or buy the content separately to continue using it. What? What? Remove from the catalog and then you can still use it? Oh yeah, okay. Okay, okay. So let me just uh, separate this. Wait a minute, guys. If your subscription terminates, you must reactivate your subscription to continue using it. Uh, if a content item was removed from the catalog, you must buy the content separately to continue using it, right? If your subscription is inactive for more than 18 months, your Realms Plus data will be deleted from the server.
ISP fees may apply. Realms plus discounts cannot be combined with other offers and are not redeemable for cash. Re cash. Requirements features online services or subscription subject to change and or retirement. Subject to the Microsoft Service Agreement. Okay, this is a continuation of that. Or subscription subject to change and or retirement. Subject to the Microsoft Service Agreement. or my, uh, There's a link there. And Realms End User License Agreement. And there's a link there. Realms Java Edition is a separate subscription sold separately and requires Minecraft Java Edition game. So it's a separate thing. Now, in terms of applications, I've read it. And let me read again real quick 10 compatible windows devices despite the general rules above apps provided free of charge can be downloaded to devices that are not registered with your microsoft account okay so thank you very much for watching this video we'll continue on in the separate video that at least that is my plan goodbye